tractor tractor part something I don't know 10 maybe um, looks like this now it took about an hour to uh, disassemble the whole thing motors out uh, you know exhaust is off Every, everything's apart it's really easy to take apart uh, the whole thing probably looks twisted right now it's because the motors mounted at a slant in there and that uh, mount right there follows that so you can see this side of the frame is up a little bit higher but that's just because the motor slanted in there um, that was so the tranny would clear with uh, there and there on the frame tubes the cutouts there um, the front end is uh, fully boxed in now these are solid here um, I have to probably I'm probably going to run another square tube bar down there uh, finish the sheet metal work there um, put our safety plate in here for in case the drive shaft decides to fall apart and uh, well, then we're just going to hang it up by the cherry picker in here and paint it with some tractor supply matte black tractor paint. That stuff works really well. Should be back together by the end of the week. Hopefully I can get my uh, decals made and uh, orange paint done. And I still have to get sheet metal to add lengths to the hood, so hopefully it'll blend in without... You won't really notice, hopefully. I wish we had a break. But I've been kind of having to deal with uh, primitive tools. I could have done a lot nicer job on this frame if I had like a tubing notcher and plasma cutter and nice stuff. But whatever. We're making it. All right, I got her running. I don't know if you can even, if you can even hear me. Okay, I wish I could have showed the actual painting. I'll try and show it with the rear end uh, once I get a weld the hitch mounts on that thing. But here we go. It's a uh, matte black. Uh, it's the Magic brand from Tractor Supply. Uh, we painted the walls on this paint booth with the white stuff, and it comes out really nice. So yeah, she looks brand new. We used the uh, LPH 400. Where that fell? Not meant. But uh, yeah, it worked all right. Got a one around there. I didn't, um, I should have seen that stuff better, but I mean, you're really not going to see most of this once it's together, and it's a, it's a lawnmower, so whatever. <laughs> but yeah, she's coated. Dash, steering stem, everything. It's all mint. Now our steering, our arms, everything, let's see, did it ruin the paint? Did it ruin the paint nice? Oh yeah, it ruined the paint. Kind of, it's hard to see on here, but it kind of did a little bit. But that's on the bottom. So I don't think we're going to be seeing that, and I'm not going to fix it. Yeah, the steering antlers here, they're all... Look at that. Okay, so, tranny's cleaned up. Belt cover's on, cleaned up. Uh, timing chain cover's on. Uh, I didn't have black paint for the pulleys, so so we're grayish works. Uh, we had to pull the oil pan off because it was leak. Oh, I covered the mic. We had to pull the oil pan off because it was leaking. Um, uh, take and show what we did here. So I painted the coolant tube on the side silver as well as the motor mount silver clear coats. Dry in there. Um, this is the only color I had in a spray can, so this is painted that color. It's fine, you don't really see it, and I don't know, I guess it kind of matches up. I just had to stick a patch on there, there's a little pinhole rotted in, but frame's all dry. Ready to assemble it today.
Okay, we run. I'm here, getting there.
Hey, got the front end uh, bolted on. We got our uh, support rails on. Uh, hood's sitting there, so we have to add 13 inches to the hood. You can see where it originally used to sit, right there. That's 13 inches from the edge. But what I'm going to do is cut this part off of the hood where it curls over because that's what latches on the hood release and I still have the pin and everything for the release so I'm going to do that and we're just going to be adding metal in between so we don't have to deal with any fancy curves because the body line is pretty much done right there so I'm just going to cut that add on uh, we're going to be using an old hood um, and this, this is flat enough Got a 13 inch by 18 inch square drawn there, we're going to about to cut it out. Okay, so this has uh, worked out pretty well. Um, so with that about there, um, plus the round over I'm going to cut off of that, it should be, end up being perfect. Um, so I'm just going to set this on here and use the mallet to get this rounded, I'll just copy this uh, rounded shape there and I am going to be spot what uh, the yeah I'm just going to spot weld the, the support structure out of that like a piece of it into here because so this isn't so flimsy this is a little thinner than what this is made of so that'll work be pretty minty I'm probably going to use a little bit of body filler right here just so the transition's perfect Tacking it up, Just using the vice grips there to kind of contour it, tack it. Okay, we're just getting the thing uh, formed here. Um, I am going to cut cut this once I'm done so it kind of matches that. But it's uh, getting there. This side's it's actually not that bad now. Hopefully, I'll get this to look better, but this isn't really straight here. But, uh, Okay, so I got the primer done. Uh, I didn't spend too much time on the body work and stuff. Um, and yeah, I know I sanded it to the bare metal, but it's fine. Um, the thing's not perfectly flat, but this doesn't need to be perfect because it's, it's a tractor and I'm actually going to use the thing. It's not going to just sit in the garage, so it's not going to stay perfect forever. But I just sanded it with 120 really quick just to flatten the primer out. I still have to sand the fenders. The primer sprayed pretty nice as it was. I got the gun dialed in pretty well. But I will film painting the orange. I got I found my case for this camera, so we'll film that. Okay, we're mixing it. This is uh, the Rustoleum Farm and Implement Kubota Orange. Um, I got 10% thinner and just a touch of hardener in that seem to work about good for the other stuff which is the magic brand but yeah it's not too bad Ooh. Alright, she's all painted. Orange peel on the fender is uh, not much. Not too bad anyway. The hood was worse, the gun kept clogging. So I had to kind of go over it a little extra. I don't know. Yeah, you can probably see the orange peel. Huh. It's a long mower though, so I'm not going to care that much. I guess in this center part here is going to be black. 
along with uh, this section there once it's dry paint that black and she will be factory I'm really happy how the feathers came out though I mean there's still peel but not nearly as bad